What is up everybody? Today I'm gonna show all of you guys my winter 2022 snow removal setup. In my opinion, it's really the best solo snow removal budget setup. As a disclaimer for anybody that might be new and all of you original guys that have been following me for a while already know, I live out here in Southwest Missouri, right outside of Springfield, which right out here, we really don't get a whole lot of snow. We get more ice than anything. Of course, all the way up until last year. Last year was kind of a freak year. You guys can go check out my snow removal playlist and all the videos that I've got on that already was all recorded last year. And that was way more snow than what we normally get out here. So I am being just a little bit more prepared this year for the snow if we do get any. So so let's jump into this. I'll show you my setup. So I'll pretty much sum up my setup that I had last year with this one picture here. As you can see right there, it was a very basic entry level setup because I took the gamble that we don't get snow out here. So that right there is all I needed because yeah, I'll offer snow removal to anybody that needs it because I didn't think we usually get snow. But of course I was very wrong last year. So the only thing I used last year that wasn't in that picture is this right here. It is the Echo 770T backpack blower. And that actually worked really well last year during the light fluffy stuff but there was one time that i drove my truck over a parking lot and packed it down and that didn't work in it to get better prepared for this season if we do get snow this year here's what i ended up buying i ended up getting my hands on a bollins 5210 snowblower and this is a very old one even though it has all the original paint on it and looks like it's pretty much brand new the guy says he bought it back almost brand new and it's never been used well he said he used it once or twice last year but that was it and that's because we don't get snow out here all the way up until last year I got this snowblower for a hundred bucks hey that's a steal if i really wanted to i could wait until a snowstorm hits and sell this use it once on a couple customers and then sell it if i wanted to flip it and make an extra 100 150 bucks off of it so the only thing that sucks is i did already break it actually ended up breaking this little plastic piece here which probably just dry rotted but anyways what this is, is this is part of the handle that you spin up here making it change direction where you blow it but i've got an idea to fix that the plan is to actually cut that plastic piece off completely remove it and re-weld a metal piece in its place i believe it probably just dry rotted over time but anyways, it fires right up on the first pull every time and it works great. Now this is the self-propelled version, which does have three running gears plus one in reverse you guys can see there. And I'm gonna admit too, when you get this in one of the upper gears, this thing really takes off and runs fast. At least fast enough and maybe just a little bit faster than you really wanna be going with it anyways. You don't really wanna be running behind it. So my new snow removal setup is a snow blower a backpack blower, and the original shovel that I had last year, which you guys see that it does still have the sticker on it. You guys made fun of me for that because this shovel was like six or seven years old. I mean, I bought it way back when I first moved out here, and that sticker is still on here if that tells you how much snow we don't get. Even after the few snowstorms I did last year, it still looks pretty brand new. It will need a bit of a new blade on there, as you guys can see. There's a couple chunks taken out of it, but honestly, we don't get as much snow here as some other places do, so I probably don't even need to do that. Now, I also have to get me another salt spreader because one thing, that cheap fertilizer spreader I had did not make it through the rest of the winter time. It, well, it got through the winter time, but it didn't make it through the rest of the season with fertilizing. As all the metal bolts ended up rusting out on it, as well as the plastic dry rotted on it, just from all the salt and everything that I put through. But I got that on sale this time last year for I think like $15 or $20. It was a real cheap one. It was the cheapest one you can buy at like Walmart. So I got my money's worth out of it. Now I'm really banking and hoping that we don't get snow because to be honest, I really don't want to use this, but maybe once or twice on my own property. If you guys don't know, I actually hate the snow and I hate the cold weather. I wish our climate was like those of you guys that live in the wonderful sunshine state where I could just mow all year round. That would be ideal for me. I was hoping to get a snowplow for this season, but I ended up backing out of that. Because again, we don't get snow here and I just couldn't justify paying that several thousand dollars to have a whole snowplow set up on my truck when we don't get snow here and it would probably take several years to pay for it. So long term, I do plan on getting one though eventually, but right now I'm still trying to get my mowing set up and everything else finalized before I worry about spending stuff for a snow setup. Because as you guys know, I am trying to make some changes for that this year. Let me know what you guys think of this setup. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, if you think I should do something different, add something else, or if you guys run a similar setup, please let me know. So if you're new, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. All of you guys that are returning, I really appreciate y'all for coming back so please hit this thumbs up button on this video and i will see you guys in the next video